Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we're going to be putting together this ATV Buyer's Guide spreader. Was going to do an unboxing video, but once I open up the box, let me show you here. See what comes in it. Once I open up the box, I realized, you know, this thing's already uh, pretty much put together. Just have a bracket here. This is the ATV version, um, so it does not have the hitch for side by side. So what we're going to do is, so what we're going to do is take the bracket comes with it I'm going to weld up a receiver here and I'm just going to weld this bracket onto it <clears throat> see if I can show you all how this bracket goes on so this bracket here just sticks right onto the back of it two pins and it holds it so I'm going to weld this uh, to some tube steel that I have a uh, two inch square tubing uh, that goes into a receiver weld this up and I'll have a bracket so here's the idea I've got this square tube in here slides right to my race I'll drill me a hole right here uh, so I can slop a pin into it and then I've got another piece that I will cut to size, figure out what height I need it at. We'll weld that up somewhere in there. And then, and then we're going to take this bracket, weld it on here somewhere, figure out what height it's going to be at. Get everything cut down to size. And... I'm thinking, I'm not 100% sure yet, this over here. <clears throat> but I'm thinking that I want this guy somewhere right, right here in terms of height that gives me easy access or something to lay a bag onto when I go to dump it in here. I may not really need something to lay a bag onto, but... Um, I don't really need it too high neither. So I'm not trying to stand up too high and get seat into it. But I do like it. It comes with, let's see if I can get y'all up here a little bit more. It comes with this little plate here that'll go towards the back of the machine, keep it from throwing uh, lime fertilizer. I won't use this for doing seed, but I will use it to throw out some lime and fertilizer. Uh, kind of make that process a little bit easier than trying to do it with a hand broadcaster. Safety first.
too bad. I don't weld every day. Not the prettiest, but not the worst. See, there's, there's a little hole in that one, but I don't know that it's going to cause any problems. So, yeah. Let's let this thing cool down a little bit and then we'll get it up on the side by side and get everything mounted. All right, y'all, <clears throat> so as you can see, it's all mounted up here. All I gotta do is drill me a, a hitch pin. Uh, let's see, you're down there. You gotta drill a hitch pin, and um, yeah, it's all mounted up. Here is the lid. Now, one thing, I am doing away with this arm. This arm is junk. There's no way that, I mean, this is going to, the machine's going to be in the way. And there's no way I'll be able to get it onto um, the adjustment and be able to drive it all at the same time. So, <clears throat> the intent is to go to my local tractor supply and I'll probably get a brake cable of some sort for like a lawnmower and um, run that so I can control it from the cab. I'll bring it through one of these holes. You know, I'll see which one ever holds it best or whichever one makes it easier to strap it to, but I'll run it through and um, get it hooked up to my bar down here so I can let me turn this off. <clears throat> get it hooked up to my bar down here so I can adjust how much is coming out from inside the machine. I'm hoping I can find a little a lever with some numbers on there and a little set screw so I can adjust how much the gate is opening. So if I only need it to open up halfway, I can just set that and when I need to open it, just open her up. Um, so yeah, that's the plan right now. Sometime this week, I'll get by my local tractor supply store and get me a brake cable. Let's take a look at it. So down in there, we've got our adjustment. And as I open it, and those are that's fairly large, large holes down there. But all I gotta do is drill me a hitch pin. No big deal. Uh, welds are all good and stout. I'll probably always leave this attached to the bracket because it really wasn't all that easy. <clears throat> it wasn't all that easy trying to get it back, uh, get it on that bracket. So I'll probably just leave that all together and when I need it just slide her right in the hitch so yeah I hope y'all enjoyed the video like I said this is the buyer's ATV spreader the buyer's ATV spreader picked it up from uh, Northern Tool for 170 bucks And this should help get some lime and some fertilizer out. <clears throat> like I said, I won't use it for any seed. I'll use my hand, my handheld seeders for that. Uh, it's a lot easier to control and see 
the flow coming out and adjust it on the fly, whereas this, uh, when it comes to lime and fertilizer, you're just going to throw her down. So yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you like what you're seeing here, then please subscribe to the channel. And uh, there'll be more episodes of this guy here throwing down some lime and some fertilizer.